And welcome back guys. We're going to be playing some Dying Light Staying Human today, number two. And what are we going to work on today? So right now I'm just kind of beast mode my way through here. Uh, I'm going to try to unveil all these question marks and things that we haven't seen yet. So we're going to go over here real quick. And we're going to see what this is about. If it's a challenge, which is saying expiration date challenge. I think we're going to try a challenge real quick. Uh, I don't know if this is a challenge or not, but I'm trying to get rid of all the side quests that we could possibly do and then go back to the book quest, our book club quest. Um, as soon as there's nothing left to do, then we can physically start another gameplay through Dying Light to stay human. And we can see if we can get a different story ending. That will be the goal. But anyways... That's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be in this little area, and then we'll probably work our way over here. That, that's another challenge. I'm not doing that. And matchmaker. There's a question mark here. So yeah, we're going to be working in this area today. Or tonight, if you want to call it tonight. Probably go back to doing these ones once we clear out you know, this stuff out here. Anyways, make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the support button. Let's get into it. You got a problem? A problem? Pilgrim, you gotta help me. I'm in deep shit. Real fucking deep. If you don't help me, that bald thug, my uncle, will beat me. And he's got hands like cast iron frying pans. The last time he hit me, I had a lump on my forehead as big as a horn. Uh, like some fucking rhino. And it came in rainbow colors too. The horn, I mean. What did you do to make your uncle angry this time? Nothing yet. But I will in a moment. Like any normal person. I took a nap and then boom. I was asleep like a frog in a swamp in winter. The worst part is that the sausage is on the verge of rotting. In this day and age, throwing away good food is a crime. Okay, nearly good food. But it won't give you the shits quite yet. If it's eaten in the next hour, everyone will be fine. Okay. Maybe one of them will run to the bathroom. Better than starving. After all, no one is shit so much they stop being hungry, right? But in three hours, everyone's asses will explode like shit geezers. Then comes the puking. My uncle will just fucking kill me, and the rest will feed my corpse to the infected. I'd hurry this food over to them myself, but I still have to prepare the smoker. This stuff doesn't make it. Well, you know what will happen. Show me where to go. Jesus, you can't even imagine how important this is to me. Just grab the food rations on the table and hurry up to deliver them. Jesus, my wife. It's cooking together. Catch you stealing, you lose a hand, pal. No order without strict laws. Oh. <sighs> 
You are awesome. I know you made it in time too. I met one guy who ate a sausage sandwich and he was fine. He even called it tasty. Awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Got some spare time? Because if you do, because I got another sausage run to prevent the runs. And you, you already know where to go. This isn't an urgent race like the last one, but in this weather, you have to be careful with food. The faster it lands in someone's stomach, the better for everyone. Beekeeper or a brewer? I'm both. That's the secret of my double bark. You must have noticed most beer in this town tastes like piss. Well, you're not wrong. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Nobody cares about taste anymore. Does that surprise you? The truth is, so-called brewers nowadays are damn amateurs. <laughs> and you're a pro, I gather. You bet. And it's an excellent time for my trade. Demand for beer is higher than ever. Brewers are in the top ten most stable jobs in this city. Right after the Undertakers? <laughs> right. <laughs> nice one. As for me, I'm dedicated to nurturing my yeast. And my bees. Your bees? Yup. You know what the secret ingredient is to brewing the best beer in town? Besides love, of course. I'm guessing you're about to tell me. Honey. And to harvest the best kind of honey, you need the best fed bees. Speaking of which, maybe you could help me with my bees. Feed them some sugar? I have my own special beehives in the area. Put them up high to keep them out of reach of those who steal my honey. I can try. Where exactly are these beehives? First, you need to find the bags of sugar I've left nearby to feed them. If you find the bags, you'll find the beehives. There are three of them all close to each other. The first one is on a rooftop just nearby. If you look towards the main terminal, you can see it from here. The second is on the rooftop of the main terminal building, below this big tower covered with a peacekeeper's banner. And the third one is on the top of the main terminal station, just beside one of the statues. Please do it quickly. Business is so brisk I've neglected them lately. Oh, they're probably starving. I guess I'm more of a brewer than a beekeeper after all. A oh, bag of sugar. I can save Barack's bees from starvation.
My little brother's here, some. When we're on a break, nobody? Ever again? That sounds a bit extreme. Well, you think so? What do you think is the first step in loving yourself? Are, are you some kind of spiritual guru trying to recruit me? Oh, no, please. I'm very down to earth. Hanging around near the metro station in considerable safety and all. But I used to be a florist down in Trinity. I had a shop there, the Blooming Tulip, near the bazaar, when it was still the Church of the Holy Trinity. I was raised in an orphanage among a multitude of apathetic people. <laughs> Maybe that's why I turned to flowers. But after the outbreak, people stopped buying them. Well, that's understandable. Certainly, but... Uh, there was this old lady. I basically kept the store open just for her. She'd come every day, as if nothing had changed. Her visits were the highlight of my day. Until one day, she didn't show. I mean, you didn't expect it to last forever, did you? Maybe I did. I was growing these special pink roses for her. It was her last order. And I simply couldn't throw them all away. So I kept one of the roses and dried it. Just for her. You're bumming me out. I wanna go. Hey, wait. Maybe you could look for her? She never said where she lived precisely, but I asked her once where she kept all her flowers. She said, in a beautiful house made of glass, where the old mound used to be. Here, take the rose. Please find the house and give it to her, if she's still there. Jack that deals with these damn renegades. Don't want my name ending up in some memorial down in the street.
A house made of glass. Reminds me of that flower lady. Hmm. Maybe I should check it out. Farewell, flower lady. Mess with it. I thought no. her chances against Red. I found her. I'm afraid she. She had passed away. She was with her flowers. So. She died in peace. We'll never really know. How sad. That connection, yet. We knew so little about each other. Thank you for giving her the rose. I'll uh, see you around, Aiden. You're siding with the end. I mean, Pilgrim. Someday those chickens may just come from the west. Sell some fun. Were you hitting on me, buddy? <laughs> Not at all. Although, ah, no, something else. You see what life has done to you? Even your reaction to the word fun proves it. Entertainment? What's that? Playing a guitar? 
talking around a campfire, drinking till you drop. Nobody knows how to party anymore. And people need to unfucking wind Otherwise, the stress is gonna kill you. So, what did I do? I created this great game. Ultimate, because it's one and only and bestest. Fury, because it's fueled by emotion. And the last part, wait for it, Cricket. Ultimate Fury Cricket. Cricket. Yeah. Used to be a sport where you hit a ball with a bat. In my game, instead of the ball, you have... Infected. And what's new about fighting the infected? What's new is that you just make pure fun out of it. How about that? No jobs, people trying to get you to rescue them, no clearing out buildings. You just get out there and take your frustrations out on the fuckers. Wasn't that what certain sports like boxing were always about? So if you feel like it, just step into the arena and pick up the mace. Oh, and by the way, you can earn cash money. Just promise me one thing, bro. Stay away from my brother, Ron. He's a fraud and a bore. He, he tells everyone he came up with Ultimate Fury Cricket, but it was me. I thought our chances against Renegades were pretty good. Now, I'm not so sure. Yeah, I'm trying to avoid the challenges for now. Uh, reason for that? They just take too damn long. They really do. <laughs> so, I'm just gonna skip over the challenges for now. out at street level just to look at the shops and signs the naked woman i need to find what who are you looking for that's the problem i don't remember mon dieu i knew i should have stopped after that first pint of cider i put a box of glitter in one of my scarecrows but which one <laughs> why did you put glitter in a scarecrow i was Planning to use it for a special order. A sweet unicorn scarecrow for a sweet little girl. This glitter cost me a fortune, and I wanted to hide it somewhere safe, but now I can't remember which one of my babies I picked. You forgot? Not everything. 
I remember that there was a naked woman and a tree. Somehow the scarecrow is above them. <laughs> Are you sure this wasn't a dream? Young man, my dreams vanish when Bordeaux was lost to the virus. A naked lady and a tree will lead you to my scarecrow. I am absolutely certain. Hey, that graffiti on the wall, that, that, that's the naked woman. And the tree. Gabrielle Scarecrow must be around here somewhere. I know what to say for this quest. Mm. I'm gonna call it close enough because I'm not seeing it. Supposedly, the tree's here. Supposedly, you gotta go around and look for this, but I don't really need the money. Okay, so my next goal will be to come over here and resupply, of course, and then work my way over here to do this quest. And this one. If it's a challenge where I have to run around, then I'm probably not going to do it. But if it's... Yeah, that's a Night Rider challenge. I'll still go over there and get it unlocked. But... 
or we'll be probably working our way over here. I'm getting these ones and then eventually go back into the middle here get these question marks done and then we can just focus on this area almost done anyways make sure you hit that like button make sure you hit the support button i'll see you guys in the next video